the oil for what two months now yes sir and uh aches and pains lost sleeping weight. better lost some weight i mean if there's so many benefits to this oil that uh that there's some benefits that we don't even know yet yeah uh if you have uh, arthritis if you have uh sleeping issues it, it it doesn't cure it but it helps and that's the main thing you know we're not saying it cures anything well, we are saying it's a natural remedy for things that may occur. And I use it, I've used it since I, we first started growing hemp. Right. Personally, I've used it ever since we first started growing it. And it's a natural remedy. It's, you know, like we said, it's been around for thousands of years. And it's something that uh, ours is about as organic as you can get. It's, it's made not hardly anything put in it except the product. That's awesome. That's yeah. good stuff. Thank you. My second bottle and... Uh, and I, I can only say good things about it. So uh, y'all putting out quality products. Well, now, where can we go and buy this stuff? You can get it at bickettandboon.com for sure okay. online. But, of course, Pat's Pharmacy. We always give a shout out to Pat's. It oh, was yeah. one of the first pharmacies. Swisher and Lowe Pharmacy. Uh, Ben's Pharmacy in E-Town. Okay. Uh, one Love Hemp Dispensary. Nancy Roberts in uh, Louisville. <laughs> UNS in Louisville. Chad Wade. Uh, just a lot of places carry it, but we're small batch. You know, we're like small batch whiskey. We're not out to sit there and put it in every store around. Right. If you have to, you know, with ours is quality product. We make it, a, we grow a small patch of CBD plants. We make a small batch of CBD oil when we make it. That's great. Now, is everybody at this table currently taking this oil? Because if you're not, you're in trouble. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's really, it's really good for you. It's or, like you said, organic. And uh, y'all do things right here in Raywick, so good stuff on that. Thank you. And so the cool thing about about your books, it is honest to God, it's true story because you lived what is in your books. And so all the rest of you guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jimmy, Johnny, Bobby Joe, Dick Hammer, Red Hog, and to a larger, and to a smaller extent. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Let's see what he's <laughs> I thought they were leaving. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Fred Hogg. But uh, even today, you know, it's kind of all come full circle. Yeah. We're all here together. and I guess we're, That's the main thing. We're fortunate that we are all here today, I yep. guess, looking back. Well, yep. you know, one of the stories I remember from the book, Fred Hogg, you bailing out. Well, didn't, you, didn't you bail out of the, the car? You and, uh, I mean, it, how, did, how in the heck could you survive that? I mean, it's you're on a... You know, Joe Keith is on a high-speed chase. I'm like, how in the hell do you even try to live on being able to get away from that? But but you did. I can see it like yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Keith driving. We, we went around this, what, uh, Kansas, like a square mile gravel. But this Barney Fife cop behind us. <laughs> Joe, uh, Bob Joe sat in the front. Louis Flafford, he's gone. He's dead and gone. Uh, but we, we uh, made this lap twice. We determined we had to get off the road. Well, we got bailed out. No keep still driving. We get this turn, and and my partner, Louis Blafford, he kicks me out. Oh, he kicks me out. He kicks me out. He kicks me out. He kicks me out. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, I shoot her this, this gap. Bob Joe and, um, uh, who was it? You, Bob Joe, me, and Louis. Yeah. They disappear. This <laughs> uh, Anyway, anyway, um, if you know what, I think back on all these times. It's it's uh, it's all memories now. You know, we all yeah. got old, but it, it was a lot of fun. I don't got no regrets. You know, um, now I hate the fact that the U.S. government legalized the pot. Pull Bob and Joe here. Pull. <laughs> 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 Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, Ray's probably got all that sentencing for pot, and now they legalize it. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. A lot of them. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, uh, everybody, yeah. Yeah, uh, bullshit. So how old were you when all this, when you got kicked in the ass in the car and fell out? Oh, how old well, about 38, Bob Jones? I don't know. You 75 then? <laughs> <laughs> I think about 38. I got out of, about 49, 49, uh, 59. I don't know. 
Anyway, it was, I, I lose memory of all this shit, but anyway, right. kind of foggy in it. What, what did I used to say, onward through the fog? <laughs> what do you say? No. Yeah, onward through the fog. <laughs> I tell you what, it, I have no regrets on it, you know, and I hate it because everybody did all this time. Jimmy, Johnny, Jicky, Bob Jones, me. We did a lot of time, you know, and it, it wasn't right. It's right. not. No, it's not. It's not right. It's not right. It wasn't yeah. right. Yeah, For marijuana. You know what? It's, it's all good. But the difference is we're survivors. Survivors, we're yeah. That's we're, right. we're sitting here right now, and, and the good Lord we're not going to piss them all about it. It. We, Well, we some right people now. didn't know because those laws are messed up. Yeah, well, sure they are. Yeah. But there's two ways of looking at yourself. Yeah. You can look at yourself in a victim way, and you can look at yourself right. as a survivor. Right. right. I mean, most of these guys look at look themselves as survivors. That's true. awesome. I'll tell you one yeah. thing. Uh, it's uh -huh. a pleasure to talk to you guys. Well, thank you. Thank and getting you. it out. And thank you for the moonshine, man. You're welcome. And we'll have some fun. Uh, so, so, Johnny, one of the things that when I, regardless, and you, you know, you are a legend, which, which brings up a question. Number one is when people say you're a legend, how, how do you think about that? But more importantly, when people talk about Johnny Boone, the, the overriding thing that I hear people talk about is how good you were and are to people. But what is it? Is, is that a true, when people say, oh, he's the most humble guy, he's, he's all about helping people, that's you, isn't it? I think it's a whole, whole circle we got here today because uh, everybody's helped a lot of other people. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to go ahead and make a comment on Johnny Bing while I'm here. I've known Johnny since I was 17, 16. His son Jeff and me, we grew up together. And Johnny Boone is a good person. And like Johnny said, everybody around this table is, they've never done anything bad. And for the federal government to give them that kind of time for a plant that is now legal in most of the United States, and unfortunately not in Kentucky, is just ridiculous. And Johnny, just like his, and his son, best people ever. Good stuff, good stuff. Johnny? It's uh, it's it, it's fun to hear stories. Do you have any kind of story <coughs> on red eye that that uh, you could tell us? I mean, because you know, that, well, that's breaking the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, nothing that you know is what real, you, mean, you know, bad. But it's something to make you blush a little bit. You got anything over there? I can't tell. <laughs> so, so the camera, we've you heard many, many funny stories about the young man sitting next to you. Yeah. Okay, red eye. Yes. There's the good one. Let me cut in on yeah, that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the story, you know, Fred Hogg was talking about, you know, when I was driving, right? Right. And uh, they jumped out and everything. Well, you know, my good friend, Fred out of there, didn't get enough. A few weeks later, he decided to make a pass back through there. He said, tell us about that, Bobby Joe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Elaborate. <laughs> pull that mic up pull, pull that mic to, to Bobby Joe. I, I didn't go to jail over it like that. Huh? <laughs> 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 but he got charged as drunk, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, well, you got tell, tell us about that escape, DJ. That's good. Well, I went back to the farm, and uh, I had a boy with me. I burnt it down. And, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, I got the lights cut off, and I drive back to this dope farm. And looking at the house on the property, there were no lights on, so the house was abandoned as usual, but... It, Anyway, I come back down the road and there's a car, uh, Ford V8 Interceptor Special, that they like to drive, you know. Who's that, DJ? Oh, that'll be the, the police in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can clear that. Yeah. <laughs> and so this boy's with me. I told him, I said, well, that's the law. We didn't have no lights on. Of course, they turned their lights on to come out right after us. And I said, well, I think they're going to try to pull us over. He said, well, just stop. I said, I don't think that's in this agenda. <laughs> stop it. Why don't stop, DJ? Well, I, they was looking for me more places in Kansas at the time. <laughs> and so off we go. And he's riding in the passenger side. I'm in a Toyota uh, Corona. It's going about <laughs> 75, 80 mile an hour. Between mile Top markers. speed. That's moving that four cylinder pretty hot and heavy. Top speed. Anyway, anyway we, I kept chasing, they kept chasing, and I kept running. I told them, I said, we've got to get on these gravel roads. So I told them, I said, scoot over here in the middle. 
I said, now when it gets to eight tenths of a mile, I'm gonna tell you when to start counting. And so when it hit, I said, count. He said, you're at eight tenths. I just locked it up and slid in sideways because I couldn't, every time I hit my brakes, they'd hit theirs too. And so we was going just as fast as it'd go. Well, we got on that dirt out by them. Of course, they couldn't see nothing but dust. And, and uh, so we come over a hill on them, that dirt roads, a lot of dirt roads in Kansas and gravel. We come over the hill, I lock it up and slide. Leave gravel tore up every place and then I let off the brakes, drive right on off the hill and just cut up in the guy's backyard. And park, cut the lights off, here they come. Well, when they seen them slide marks, they slide. They back up and they take a left. And so while they was taking the left, went on that way, I got in the trunk and jerked all the tail lights out. I thought, well, if they chase the next down, they're not gonna see no brake lights flashing. And uh, we drove, I went right back the road that they went, we drove out in the field and park. And uh, we turned around and sat there. And he said, well, what time are you gonna leave? I said, when it gets daylight. I said, the only thing that can catch us is a radio. And I said, we're not gonna get caught for no radio tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. And Good so story. we didn't get caught that night.